In today's video, we are going to be looking at coming down the wicket and hitting the spinner over the top. To accomplish this effectively, we have split it up into four different drills, each focusing on a specific part of what you need to do to get into the best possible position and mental mindset to play the ball. For drill number one, we are going to be focusing on a nice, big and full swing through the ball, looking to make contact and looking to hit the ball hard, but also trying to get that elevation. So for this, the batter is going to stand with their foot already slightly forward, the weight transferred already, the ball is going to be popped slightly in front of the front leg to enhance that contact point slightly in front, keeping the head nice and still and swinging through the line of the ball and completing through the top. Obviously, to get more power through the ball, we want to try and increase our hand speed through the ball. So make sure that your hands are moving nice and quickly, but at the same time in a good line to where we are hitting. For the second part of this, we are going to be focusing on advancing down the wicket, giving us that momentum, and then hitting through the ball, linking the first draw into this one. For the advancing part, we believe that there are two ways in which you can do it. The first way is making sure that your heels clip each other as we go forward, and the second way is called the crow hop, where there's a crossover behind. If you want this in more detail, please leave a comment below asking us to do this in a future video. How it's going to work is the coach is going to stand slightly in front of the player, and pop in trying to get the player to advance down the pitch and getting the ball to bounce slightly in front of where you expect the player to finish. From there, the player is going to advance down, have a nice big swing, using the momentum with his body to hit through the ball while trying to keep the head going nice and forward. Still trying to hit up with the elevation and then the hands go nice and quick through the ball and contact point and finishing through the top of the swing. For the third part of this, we are going to be doing a draw where the coach is going to stand behind the player, pop the ball up, and tell the player to go. The player is going to advance, trying to catch up to the ball and hitting through the ball going forward. A couple of things important here is because the ball is moving away from the player. I I thought I you know when we were speaking about having fun? Yeah. This is one of them. The player really has to work hard with the advance to get to the ball, making sure he's got quick feet at the same time and making sure that he's got energy going forward because otherwise he's not going to catch up. The other added benefit of this is that because the ball is going away at the point where we're going to be swinging, it is forcing a full extension of the hands through the ball, which is going to elongate our swing. And a bigger swing means more power. That's a really fun draw, really difficult. Give it a shot. For the final draw, the coach is going to stand at a full pitch length and he's going to throw over arm spin. The batter is going to try and link everything together now and try and hit the ball as far as they can making sure that they've got a good swing and into a good position. For this, it is really important that the batter moves into a good line so he's not too far away from the pitch of the ball or the line that the ball is traveling to give himself the highest chance of hitting the ball. And at the same time, making sure that the hands and the bat are flowing through the line towards where we are hitting. I really hope you guys enjoyed the shot traces in today's video. If you did enjoy, please leave a like below. Also remember to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you can get the content as soon as it releases. 